so I think it's been two weeks since it all first started and at first it was like okay I can do this I've got a routine I can go on lockdown I know what I'm doing I'll be fine I know I'm like I'm like going crazy I'm really sick of this shit like before this whole thing started, I was productive, I was cleaning my room and now I have all the time, all the time that I need and I haven't done anything, I haven't done anything. My room is messy as hell, I haven't done any exercise, I'm just not in the mood for it and I mean the first few days I was, I was, I was killing it, I was baking, I was cooking, I was doing yoga. I was doing my groceries, I was studying, I was making YouTube videos. Well, not really. I have so much to edit, so I haven't been filming, but that's okay. I really don't know what to do. I've got bills to pay, no money's coming in. Huh. I really don't know what to do. I'm like, still. Let's go get some exercise and hopefully tomorrow I get something done Which I know I won't because I know how cold it'll be tomorrow and it's just like not me To do anything when there's cold. I just hate it. I hate it so much So but hopefully fingers crossed that I'll be doing something and I'll be doing some exercise Maybe I'll go out. Maybe the sunset will make it pretty and like lively and happy and even though it's cold and chilly you just put a thick jacket on and I'll be fine. So, really need to get your exercise out there because that makes you really productive when you get your body going. So, let's do this. And I woke up really late, so I'll have the whole night to study and do those things. Clean my room, maybe. So, it's almost three weeks since the first lockdown, and I feel like a zombie. I haven't been to work. I'm filming. I'm making a video. <laughs> haven't been to work, but we're still open. It's just that we don't have much customers. So I don't have a job. When I first started, it was really nice and sunny. like this but the last couple of days has been really cold and rainy and gloomy and uh, yeah the winter weather really just doesn't help with the mood that everyone's in but today is different it's nice and sunny so I decided to change out of my pajamas and uh, sit outside and I really want to go drive to the local park and walk or jog. See, it's nice and sunny. But the sun is setting now, so that's why it's kind of bright. It's the golden hour. Yeah, so I want to go to the park because the next few days are going to be cold and gloomy again. And I'm going to feel like even more of a zombie. So I want to take this time to actually go out. Why couldn't this lockdown happen when it's really nice and warm and sunny and happy? So it helps with everyone's anxiety and moods. Then I guess everyone would want to go out and do road trips and stuff. Because that's how I felt when it first started and the weather was really good. <sighs> so yeah, I want to go soon before the sun really sets and get some exercise done and hopefully my mood will brighten and the kitten's tongue is out it's weird oh my god are you okay what is happening what's wrong baby what's wrong hey oh my god are you okay you do that? You scared me.
So we keep them here for a bit so they don't poop everywhere. Cause I don't know, the last litter didn't poop everywhere, they didn't poop in the carpet, in my clothes. But these ones poop everywhere. So we keep them here for a bit so they like get used to using the cat litter because they don't poop on the wires or whatever. They've kind of stopped when we bring them in, they don't poop in the carpets as much, but they still do. So anyway. Can't wait for all this to be over, get back to work, have a routine. What I'm really like scared about is when all this is over and things aren't back to normal. You know, like people just change, everyone is different and you know, we won't be doing the same things as we used to do because we're like different people. That's kind of what scares me. Why can't the weather just be like this all the time? So I get to hang out here all the time instead of being stuck in my room. And when it's so cold, you don't want to go out and eat and like shower. You don't want to prepare food. You don't want to cook. Like when this all started, I was baking. I was jogging every afternoon. And I was looking forward to that time out where you can go outside. Anyway, I better go, go get in my car, drive to the park and do my walk, maybe two laps. It's a really big park, so get a lot done. It's really pretty there's lakes there's ducks and yeah they're different like sceneries like each part each section is like looks different so it's a really nice park and i wish i could go tomorrow and the next day maybe if the weather isn't so bad hopefully like it can be cold and gloomy and rainy but sometimes it's just like a good day maybe the sun's out i don't know out every few hours i don't know Maybe not. I bet I'm just gonna wake up and like eat my breakfast at like 3 p.m. and then go back to sleep and then wake up at like 9 p.m. So I just invited my mom to come with me because we haven't been hanging out and she needs exercise as well. She's been using going to the supermarket as an excuse to get her exercise done. But we can do it together today because I don't think we'll be out and about in the next few days. Seriously though, sometimes this whole situation makes me want to throw up. Like, I am not taking it well. I see a lot of people that are like, yeah, everything's gonna be fine. It's like, do you all really feel that way? Because I feel like I'm gonna slip my fur anytime. my mother seriously it's gonna set the sun is gonna set let's go and i'm gonna be depressed all over again yeah when the sun goes my zombie mode awakens <laughs> I parked at one spot and it's just made it really, really dirty. Yeah, I parked at Moe's house. That's what happened. And whenever I park at my house, it's not that bad. That's only one day. <laughs> only one day, mom. And look how many bird shit on it. And I park at our house and I don't get a lot of bird shit. Like, it takes like a month to get that. Really? <laughs> So we're here, it's called the Kaberg Reserve. So this is probably my favorite park in my area. I used to go to Edward Lake, Edward Reserve and Reservoir, and that's pretty too, but this is definitely a lot better. And I used to come here more often, but I stopped and then we came here once and I can't stop coming now. <laughs> now I can't stop coming here. <laughs> <laughs> show you around so this area has lots of massive trees I feel good I feel happy hopefully it lasts <laughs> till tomorrow <laughs> oh, so many people we go this way 
I see people, I see humans. I feel good. <laughs> more water over there so pretty they blocked off the playground now which they didn't last time i was here but they finally did it there's a playground really close to my house and they blocked that off way earlier so nobody could use it pretty oh so pretty see Nature makes me really happy. I miss Chelsea. Mom, I miss Chelsea. I used to walk her here a lot. We used to do long hikes in the summer and she loved it. More water. So my mom is a really slow walker. She's so slow. But today she's keeping up, which is really good. <laughs> we don't have water. I didn't bring some water. <laughs> and we can't drink public water now. We reached the top. That's the whole thing right there. So pretty. Okay, let's go. So we have so much water. So they finally closed the gym, public gym. The last time I was here was open, and I keep telling my nephew to not touch it because he would always grab the equipment. But a lot of people were still using it, so I think they would continue to use it if they had not blocked it. <laughs> I get a few sniffles and I sneeze a lot because of like my allergies. And so sometimes it worries me when I'm like <laughs> because then they think that I've got the virus. What's everyone been doing during the quarantine, self-isolation, lockdown period? This is definitely one of the main things that I've been doing because no. Even though I did this, I didn't do it often enough. I usually just stayed home and did like exercises at home. But now it just excites me to go out and sweat. And yeah, have fun, see people, see nature. It's just been really fun. Now we're going up the hill. Maui used to hate climbing this hill because the sun would always hit your eye. But today, I guess this is a different time and I guess the sun is setting so like it's moving that way and oh it's hitting my eye just a bit but no usually the sun is like right there so you need sunnies <laughs> but I mean I, I was fine with it he was the one that's complaining hiding behind the trees it's actually really nice to see how friendly people seem to have gotten since I guess the only time they get to go out is like now when they exercise and so even though we're keeping our distance and we're like avoiding each other everyone seems to be smiling at each other and, like are happy to see each other so that's really nice oh, I'm so puffy we're climbing up the little hill now but it's worth it because in the middle or like at the edge you get to see really nice water Usually, I stop and like sit on the rocks, but today it's a bit cold now. The sun's almost gone, it's getting a bit chilly. If we weren't walking and not like standing in the sun, which we aren't at the moment, you definitely get cold. But the water is also quite strong, the current, so it's a bit scary to sit on the rocks now. But I used to go there with my dog, and she used to love it. 
I used to love dipping my feet in the water. But you can always sit like on the side. Anyway, where the grass is. This is like the main thing that I look forward to every day. If I get to do it. If the weather's good for Melbourne and it sucks. But earlier earlier, no, later in the month of say, March the weather was really good so we did this a lot but now it's getting colder the quarantine is to continue I need good weather, I need the sun I need nature oh, I need it please don't go, winter don't come too late for a bit oh. we just saw two white German shepherds and my dog of 12 years was a German and she passed away like three months ago she was tan and black but now like I want another German obviously because I love them and they're good guard dogs but I want a white one so I just saw those two and I've been looking at their pictures and for some reason like I prefer the golden tan ones the golden tan, the tan and black ones <sighs> but then when I see them in person I really like them and I like long haired as well so I can't wait to get the puppy so we're crossing the bridge now. So this is where the water flows. In this way, I've been down there with my dogs as well, but I've never been on that side. Next time we'll park at the other end and then try that route that way and see where it takes us. So it's getting darker. So we just crossed that bridge. And then now we're actually back to where our car is parked, which is like right there, but we might do another loop, hopefully, if I can convince my mom. So we didn't sweat, but we're huffing and puffing. So the perks of going for a walk with my mom. She's really fun. She's nice to talk to, but she can't walk very far. I guess we're not sweating that much just because it's kind of chilly and breezy compared to like if you did this when it's a bit hot but yeah kind of sad it's over and I have to go home it's gonna get dark and I have to try and sleep and I can't sleep and I have to think of things to do so that's kind of sad but we'll see Leaving now. Hungry. You hungry? <laughs> I have no idea what to eat. I don't want to eat my pasta again. <laughs> so we're home now. It's gloomy. The sun has set. I feel okay. It's time to bring these munchkins in. Let's go inside. Huh? Let's chill inside. So just sitting here, watching the flames, it's quite relaxing. And it's nice and warm on this a chilly day, it's not that cold but the warmth does feel good. I guess it's not that cold because there's no breeze, like the leaves are not even moving. So I like that. I like when there's no breeze, even when it's cold and there's no wind, that's nice. It is a cold night, so the flames, the fire is really nice. I'm so fascinated by the fire that I'm building. So my mom's making eggplant and eggs. Which I really appreciate because I'm over eating my pasta. Okay, my fire is out. You can barely see it. I'm gonna bring the kids inside because they're looking forward to running around the house. Let's go. What are you guys doing? Are you playing? Ready? They're ready. So 
they're inside now. I gave them a little wipe. <laughs> and Boos isn't happy. I just took a warm shower and it felt so good. But I can feel so in the back of my head, my neck. So I'm gonna have to wash that. He always tries to fit in this basket. Is that a scratch? Always tries to fit here. I'm gonna try and remove all of this crap and then put like a little nice plush blanket for you. And then you'll probably decide not to lay in it. And then we've got Booz over here with his pretty blue eyes. You can't really tell. Hey, baby. This one's really grumpy, but it looks like he's in the mood today. He's just like me, very moody. It actually looks nice and I'm kind of getting hungry smelling and looking at it. But I'm still looking forward to the end. Here you go, princess. Thank you, love. Mom's making her eggplant and eggs, which is so delicious. It's dark outside. I've been wearing socks lately because, well, it's getting colder, but also I've been feeling like my feet get dirty from like dust or whatever. So I, I find I always wash my feet. So by putting socks, I won't be washing my feet so frequently. Not for rice, and just got some soy sauce and lovely eggplant with eggs. It's so, so good. And then we've got mayo and the milk and the vegetables with coconut milk. Does that have coconut milk? Yeah. But this is what I'm looking for. Let's have dinner. Better not bother me while I'm eating. Hmm? Uh oh. Looks like you're gonna bother me. That was yum. I ended up having two eggplants and lots of rice. That should be for tomorrow. I can't wait to eat more eggplant. <laughs>